So uh, I have 24 hours for my AS mocks. Uh, I have to say I've already done two mock exams out of the eight I have in total. So in theory, I have already started mocks. But having said that, uh, the six I have uh, remaining are coming this week, starting tomorrow, uh, today is Sunday. And uh, I thought it would be cool to bring you guys with me for the last day of revision for my mocks. Right now it's about uh, 9.30 a.m. So I have my exam uh, at 9 a.m. Uh, tomorrow, my first exam, which is pure maths. So I have less than 24 hours right now, uh, 23 and a half, and I'm gonna start the day by doing some Anki flashcards. Uh, basically, they are digital flashcards, you may know about that. Uh, if not, I will make a video uh, soon enough for how I use it. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do some flashcards for chemistry and physics so that I can kickstart the day uh, with some retrieval, with some active recall, preparing and uh, polishing our knowledge before the final exam. So I've already done my flashcards on chemistry and physics and right now I'm going to go and do a pure maths past paper because tomorrow I have a pure maths exam at 9 a.m. So I'm just going to go uh, do that, uh, see if I have any uh, major uh, problem with it. In theory I should be quite good at it uh, unless I make silly mistakes. I know everything more or less fine, so I should do fine. But I need to be very concentrated for the final exam. So I'm right now going to do a bit of practice and if I have any major uh, problem with a question or a topic I can go and do individual worksheets for uh, the topic that is uh, difficult so uh, yeah I'm just going to get into it and we'll see how it goes. So I just finished my pure maths past paper, it went quite well, I got a 72% I think, um, but the thing is, as I told you before, I suffer with uh, consistency and I made a huge error uh, when writing uh, one question, I thought it said a 2, and like I wrote a 12, but I thought I, I wrote a 2, so the um, whole question was out of the, of the possibility. But uh, yeah, I need to improve my consistency, I need to stay focused and uh, check things once again, you know, that I have copied the numbers correctly and everything. And uh, yeah, apart from that, there was just one question which I didn't know how to answer, which was a proof. And I made a flashcard for that uh, to not forget about it, because uh, in the end, those questions are the ones that you should focus on, those that you aren't able to do uh, correctly and the other ones you know they are there you know how to do them so don't focus on them right now i may do some uh, physics i think um i'm quite tired like i have been for three hours already doing stuff and i'm quite tired and as i told you i had exams uh, this past week already two mocks of chemistry and i had a uh, proficiency in this exam which is for international people um, and this is a certificate for the top level of English and I did that yesterday and it was like the whole morning so I'm kind of tired but you know we have to keep going because we have six exams this week so so I'm gonna do some physics see you okay so a uh, quick update right now it's 3:50 uh, p.m. I ended up not doing any physics in the morning because I just couldn't care less you know I was just super super uh, tired so i ended up uh, saying to myself that i would do it uh, right now in the afternoon so i'm just gonna get into it into doing a paper two that i have right here uh, which is the first exam i have on tuesday for physics so uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, yeah i'm i'm quite tired 
I'm less than I was in the morning as I spent some time to do other things, uh, not just studying. So I'm just gonna get straight into it and we'll see how it goes. So I just had a shower after uh, doing some exercise and chilling a bit during the afternoon. Right now it's uh, 7.40. I did uh, the whole uh, physics paper too uh, to practice and it went more or less fine. It was quite difficult, I have to say. Uh, there were some questions I didn't really expect. So right now I'm gonna be uh, marking the exam and seeing how well I did and focusing a lot on those questions that either I didn't expect or I didn't know how to answer effectively. So yeah, I'll make flaskers on those, uh, I'll mark the exam, and then I'll try to get another uh, quick session of chemistry uh, that I haven't done today, so that I can also prepare a bit because I have the exam on Tuesday, right now it's Sunday. So basically I'm gonna try to get two Pomodoros right now, 25 minutes of work and five minutes of rest each one. So I'm gonna get into it. Uh, I will uh, let you know once I finish a bit of my thoughts and uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So right now it's 8.30 p.m. and it's quite late. Uh, in the end, I just had time to do uh, the physics uh, work uh, because like this exam is super, super long. So I took a lot of time to uh, make flashcards and uh, revise the, the concepts that I didn't really grasp at first. It had very tricky questions, although I didn't possibly get a very good grade in this one. I think it's pretty good to do a uh, practice with this because I am facing questions that I really don't know. So it's way more uh, useful and uh, practical and uh, effective to face questions that you really don't know over those that you already know. Because those that you know aren't really going to give you uh, much improvement. However, if I face questions that, damn, I don't really know them. I, there's some things that, oh, I didn't knew this detail that uh, makes the whole difference. Uh, I'm very happy with today. I got some nice work in, but I was also able to balance between uh, work and uh, relaxation a little bit uh, so that I can get uh, to the exams uh, feeling fresh and, uh, you know, feeling uh, excited and uh, energetic. Although it sounds a bit weird, but you know, that's how I like to face it. So right now I'm gonna head to have some dinner. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, I hope you had a nice time with me and maybe I gave you some motivation. If it was just interesting, I, I just appreciate it a lot and uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any exams soon, whether it be mocks or any exams by the time you're watching this video, I really hope you do well and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.